Welcome everyone to a War Thunder video. So today as you can see I'm not playing my usual jets or whatever I usually play. I'm playing out the Wyvern. So I saw a forum post recently on uh, um, Wyvern, people saying that, oh you know look all these bash, uh, bash rating changes and look it hasn't received a reduction. So I thought you know what I'll take it out, I'll see what you can do with it. So bearing in mind this is the first time I've played the Wyvern in a fairly long time, but I do remember it was kind of difficult to play. So, you can see I took out a bomb loads here, so this is what I usually do with the Wyvern. I dig out from the bomber base and then I kind of surf around, try to get any enemy low fighting, uh, low flying fighters. Um, things are kind of slow, because, I mean, as you can tell, or as you probably should know, the Wyvern is very, very fast at sea level, so level flight doesn't catch up with it. However, as soon as something goes from the dive, you know, it's all over. So, basically that was the aim of the game. Just fly to the base, bomb, search for anything flying low, and so get it, and then go. So, yeah. Also, in this clip, there also quite a few, like, long periods of nothing, so I thought we might as well talk about a few things happening in all Thunder. So, first thing is, you might have seen my uh, tutorial on how to fight, or sorry, use the SRAM and the Hunter, that was for a uh, open the wiki competition where you need to make a video 60 seconds long, etc. And so I kind of, you know, thought, you know, I might as well end this. The rewards are quite nice, there's three months of premium tools, and you have a choice of any premium vehicle, um, including and up to, so up to and including like five, but it can't have been added in the last patch, you can't be like invented. Um, to that. And there's also like a new type of educator. So I thought, you know, I might as well try and make a video. Turns out actually making a 60 second video is very difficult. So I could have made a tutorial on how to use SRAMs and, you know, have it five minutes long or something like that. And that would have been far easier. But it turns out making this focus video um, on something, anything really, in 60 seconds is quite hard. But I did it anyway, recorded everything in like a day, left all the footage, put it all together, and then um, I did the voice recording the next day, put the subtitles on, rented it, moved it, submitted it, and all was good, and it turns out actually that I won, so there, there are two categories in the loop competition, there's a text competition where you can just write down like text and how to do something in the form, there's also a video competition like I said, Six seconds maximum. The other, a few other um, terms as well, but that's mainly the big one. But so I was one of the ten who won the video competition. So I got my fancy stuff, or at least that's what uh, I thought I did. So basically, competition winners were announced on Friday, and so I was thinking, okay, um, oh yeah, and they said also they will announce uh, they'll ask you which few if you want to perform. So I was going to perform. Waited Monday, I was asked, okay, which cream vehicle do you want? I was like, okay, you know what I can do with the new Japanese, or not new, the Japanese F40 Sabre. You know, so I could, I could find out the Japanese street, so I feel like that'd be cool. That was Monday. Tuesday, Wednesday, nothing happens. It's nearly a week after they announced the winners. And then finally, uh, on uh, Thursday, I suddenly got it. And you can see this is literally my the, the second game I've got the rewards. Also by the way just see me look at this great bombing one. Deposit the bomb just right in the middle of the base. And boom. So basically that's me. Um, nice few points. This is also a task with a battle task, you know, with that few points that you can buy vehicles and whatever. I mean I never get to do it just by uh all the boosts. So I noticed there's a beer from a 9G, the Italian one, flying low and killing AA. Also notice it's such a beautiful scene as well, look at all this village, uh, the village, sorry, not the village, it's quite large, but the town is So I thought oh, I might as well take a screenshot of the thumbnail. Um, unfortunately, as you just saw there, I pressed the wrong button to stop the recording. So, typical me, I mean, just messing things up. But you might see in the recording just there, I saw like a dot flying. Immediately, it's now my like 11 and a half o'clock. I turn first, 
try and get the VF109 back to the top, you know, cause quite a few of my own players uh, near there. I don't want to dive down to where all my players were and then the enemy players go there and then it's all easy to get the enemy, the enemy players think up. Oh, nice, why don't we do with that, you know? But anyway, I zip away. Try and get uh, whatever that is. I mean, I thought initially it was going to be like some fighter that was damaged or returning back to base. And I mean, I saw that he was actually getting quite close to base, to be honest. Because he's only 2 and 7. And that's kind of boring because they do have turrets. And this plane, once it takes damage, it's far harder to use. So I thought, okay, it uh, has turrets, it's near the airfield. So you can make it very quick. Also, you can like go in and up and meet, meet um, approach angle. So I do this, that's what I do. Now, I've been in the first time I've been in a while. Air belts, of course. Get hits. The Spanos recently, I mean, haven't really been doing the work for me. Instead of those one shot snappy hits, you need to properly, you know, you know actually spray at the lane as it's all there. But I got him on fire and I thought, now nah, I'm not going to take him on one mission by. And I destroyed, so, uh, destroyed the aircraft, so that's nice. You know, one bombing point, one uh, enemy plane, a premium plane, with a premium account, you know, that, that will do me good. And I spot there's an enemy plane on the map, and I think, okay. I can't see anything like in front of me, so I thought I should be safe for now. Pops off the minimap, and just usually going. So what you're seeing here, I'm trying to like, circle around, basically buy myself some time. And then kind of as well. So then uh, once uh, people are down low, then I can start engaging again. I'm not going to go straight in there. That would be foolish. I'll die immediately. So off I climb. Wait for everyone else. Happy enjoying my time. Thinking, okay. Let's see how is the position looking. Then I see Trace behind me. It's a guy. Fuck all for nine to be. I think okay, this is bad. I think it was D9 just because of the choice, I think like 13 millimeters. So, again to dive. I know the Wyvern is very fast, that's the level, the fast thing you can really at that VR, so go down 600 kilometers per hour. And essentially, at this point, he literally can't do anything to catch up with me. I'm flying low and fast. Probably recline just to get some separation. And then altitude wise. But like, he is he's like lagging behind. Obviously try and uh, engage him in some chats, you know. Ask him to go away. Because the last thing I want to do is have him chase me all the way around the map. So don't go away. He's like I don't know, he, he seems really intense on getting for some reason. He says he can't. Uh, so, I mean, I try to persuade him. I don't really know how I'm going to get him at this point because I know that as soon as I turn, I'm going to be in a very, very bad position. I can really only shoot him, and you know, you saw how his spawners are. I'd be very lucky if I actually get a kill or anything. And German cannons, at least we are, do a lot of damage. So, I mean, let's try and try and get him to go away. Try to laugh around and joke around with him. He's still chasing me. That's frustrating because at this point I do kind of want to turn around. So I have some chat here. I want to in, please. And you can see like the enemy players are starting to go low down. This is like perfect wide and hunting ground. So I do loads of it. I try and turn around. Very slow turn. As soon as I turn around hard, then cut the angle and I see this wyvern coming in and this wyvern for the entire the match is climbing which is kind of weird but you play wyvern I want to and he's been climbing and he's about to dive down on this uh and, uh, that was good news to me he was getting close to me that wyvern was being really really going fast but I'm going at a fairly good speed for the wyvern but he's catching up to me he's and good news to me, you're catching the fuck as well. So, you know, 
I basically try and distract myself from wolves in any way I can by literally flying in a straight line. And the wolf is just trying to get me, you know, he's trying to cut those corners, he's trying to get as much speed as he can from his plane, just looks at me, he doesn't see the wild man sneaking up behind him. And uh, yeah, see the spawner's just not doing anything for the first few seconds and then gets destroyed. Thanks a lot, Ivan. The guy says he has no regrets. I'm like, I just think that's, I did warn him. And, uh, yeah, I just think if it looks like a nice stop off that's fun for me, I'll try and get him. Your uncle. Ha uh ha, -huh, funny. But, at this point, it's kind of a chill game now. I already made um, up for how much my game cost me to pay for it, it's that much anyway. So, I was good to get skills, you might be okay. Oh, there's another one for me with this one. Also, I try to flex my educator status as well. It's a title that you receive for winning the competition. Talk about a competition, actually. So, Thursday, this is recording the voice on Friday. This is actually on um, Thursday. Thursday, I, I get my rewards, I get the premium. Get the target, so get cool and pick out my F4 saber. Uh, I go on the Japanese texture, I'm like, oh wait, I didn't get it. Then I saw I literally have the F4 saber, but it's just the normal texture. Mark. So, end of the line, 9.3, uh, I think it's the naval line. I just got I, the saber, fully staged top tier German jets. It's very confusing, and although it's cool to have it. I can't grind the Japanese tree with this. So go back to the guy who asked me what I wanted and I think he said I was wrong. Like, I did ask specifically for the premium. He said, yeah, yeah, sorry, I'll give you that one. That's what I did. I got that. And I kept the saber, uh, the catchy one. So currently now I have, um, I don't know what I can be bothered with the chash for the kitchen. But I just really now have, or had back then, a completely empty Japanese line. And then also, like, a saber, just a random F4 saber, it's not even an F30 one, F4 saber, just sitting there, looking pretty. So, I mean, yeah, I've also had no regrets, I mean, I probably won't play the actual tech G F4 saber, because it's more expensive, the repair costs are more, but I will be making a video on it soon. Hopefully. I mean, I've been having a little problems trying to actually cut something out of it, but, yeah. So back to the match. Essentially, I'm now here trying to uh, see my great results of that, see if I'm away. I, I, I decided to quickly quit for even more streaming video. But what I'm trying to do now is try to get the match. See one couple. Uh, I think okay. This is, by the way, all I see at this point. This one I know there are three enemy players, but you know, don't think too much of it. So I dive down, try to get some speed. I mean, look at that. 700 km per hour. Easy, easy. At this PR, about 5 And by the way, this is, I believe, not to Or round about not to So definitely not down to But uh, at this PR, nothing to catch. 700 km per hour. It's a decent speed in like, early jets, obviously not in late jets, um, but, you know, it's in the late jets. And so I'm trying to sneak up to him. He won't see me, I only see him from the blind time. I mean, he knows he is being seen, but he doesn't know where they are. I see this vehicle on my own and this is my big photo. We have multiple different players here. So I'll go for the head on, get a hit. Annoying because four and it's fine with like big fight. So now I'm kind of pigment. I have a 109G on me, those are quite fast. I have AA shooting at me, Fuck off as well shooting at me. He goes for the head on, he misses. So I go for that snapshot and I get the crits. And at that point, when I was shooting, I was doing like keyboard movements. You can see where my mouse was, it wasn't where my plane was pointing, so that was actually a good shot. So. Obviously, it's kind of difficult, and I was really, really in a bad position here. AA shooting at me, 
over eating. I don't mind he catching up to me because I can't sweat. Okay, in the end. Then there was another football. Like at this point, it was really, really over. But you know, I do what I can. I tried to run away as usual. I went to as usual. This is what you do in this wise Okay. Um, behind me. You catching. No, he isn't that good. Alright, let's see. Football, I believe that he's catching from the dive. He's catching very fast. I feel for that great, great uh, manoeuvre, but I mean, it's a wise one. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. Right. What am I going to do? The original football comes up as well. I mean, it's all too cool now. I tried to get the shot on, but I mean, you get too badly damaged, can't do anything. So I crash, uh, I'm about to crash. Crash unceremoniously into the water. Pilot goes for a swim. So, that was the game. And I didn't really know how well we did there, but I tried to see, you know, where's the evidence for the team. So we have one, you know, crushing at ground level, P51T, that's not good. We have one significantly far behind, literally across the map, the sea fire. We have a um, split far on Mark 9, which is a decent plane, also far behind. But I think this is a loss. But yeah. So is the Wyvern underpowered? Answer is no. The Wyvern is quite a good plane. I mean, I didn't even play it to its best right here. But if you want to get it, and if you want to grind out, this is the result of my uh, Japanese work but if you want to grind out the wyvern or use out use the wyvern to grind i mean go ahead it's a really good plane but anyway see you for a future video and um, bye thank you for watching